today while cutting my lawn. And that's one reason why I don't sculpt as much, because I'm spending most of my days cutting my friggin' lawn. I got a huge, huge lawn. And let me tell you, it, it's, uh, I haven't cut lawn since the 1960s. And, uh, until last year and this year. And, uh, you don't know how out of shape you are when you're 72 years old until you try to cut your damn lawn. Anyway, it grows rocks much better than it grows grass. And I hit this rock with my lawnmower today, and it broke it nicely. <laughs> so I want to try, try to use this rough area here, a heavy rock, so it'll be easier to uh, pound the clay with it. Let me see what happens. That's a nice texture. Now the hard place to use the rock will be inside the leg. That's the only thing I can see as being a problem. I'll have to figure that out when I get to the inside of the leg. From what I've seen of the photographs I've taken of the buffalo that were being slaughtered and uh, skinned was that they had uh, Lots of fur on the uh, top of their part of their leg. Let's see. Let's see how this serves. This is going to be a good test for my armature. How good it is to hold up the buffalo. I'm going to try to indicate folds and Folds. It's hard to say that with a mouth that's half, you know, paralyzed. I'm going to try to uh, make uh, folds in the clay or in the uh, fur. Let's see how that works out. I'm going to use the uh, smaller rock for that. Now, summer fur would thin out towards where it uh, blends in with the, uh, the body. I 
just have to press just a little less forcefully underneath the uh, leg to get the same texture. Just takes a little different approach to uh, doing that. I can feel the armature loosening inside the uh, buffalo. And it's uh, just because it's foam and uh, the foam would ob you know, obviously break loose. I don't think it's going to harm it though. This leg's too long. Boy, that clay is really hard. I've got an idea for a future piece and I just want to get at least part of it started right now. I'm going to make a, a base for it. It's going to be a small piece. It's going to be a multiple horse piece. I don't know if I will do it yet. But, I 
got this thing burning in my brain right now and I gotta try it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the uh, idea a little bit. I'm gonna make a foam base for it. mark the same level for the uh, AB mixture with a black mark inside the cup. A little black mark inside the cup there. Okay, all right. I just had this thought last night and I just uh, couldn't get it out of my head and I still can't get it out of my head and uh, so I'm going to try, so try this out. It may not work out but what the heck it's only a couple pennies worth of uh, foam and a scrap piece of wood. Okay, it's already rising so I'm going to go ahead and pour it in. Trash can nearby is always handy. And just let that rise. This idea of a bunch of horses running down a bit of a slope into a dry wash and uh, that's what I'm thinking so we'll let this set up since I'm going to be working on the other side I'm going to put my cutting board on that side First things first, I'm going to make a hoof. Actually, I'm going to make two hooves. One to replace the hoof that was damaged when I foamed. And uh, these uh, plastic cutting boards with a kind of a rough surface on them are real good for uh, rolling clay because the clay doesn't stick to it. Uh, just about the right size, I think. making a split hoof If you think I got this all well planned out, I don't. 
I don't know what I'm going to do until I do it. Well, that's going to be it for today, and uh, thanks for dropping by my studio, and uh, I wish you guys could come in my studio in person and visit. It'd be great to have you come, and, and actually I'd get to meet you and all that stuff, but uh, it's uh, a bit hard to do that. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.